It is a crazy morning. We have college kids singing really loud. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Do you want these? So I don't need my Tuesday the 14th. No, nobody wants these. Okay, just give them. Give them to the chickens. They'll want them. Oh, you want that too? Everyone is up. We still have college kids who are trying to get out the door. Brett's working from home today because he doesn't have to be on campus. And we are going to hit our goal for getting outside this morning. My The bags under my eyes are in full force, aren't they? That's how that works. Someone, I gave him a haircut last night. They give you a haircut? What are you eating? A bagel. Uh, bagel. Bagel. And I'm drinking a hot coffee. You're drinking hot coffee. You're drinking almond chocolate, almond milk. Mom. Anyway, I think we're gonna make it again. Those? I think you can close. You were supposed to go get your clothes. I'm just gonna put them on you. I will. Okay. Thank you. We have everybody going, going, going. This girl getting her chickens taken care of. How are your birds this morning? Good. Nice. It is. So warm outside, and it's gonna be even warmer today. Where'd my coffee go? Oh, guys, where's my coffee? <laughs> no, it's in the refrigerator. Oh, that's when you know it's gonna be. Was it in your mother's cup? No, it was in my. I choose all cup. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, it's over here. It's on the piano. So I actually don't even drink coffee every day. COVID kind of ruined coffee for Brett and I, which is probably not a bad thing either. All right, almost everybody is outside. I'm not quite outside yet because my fire is having problems this morning. So as soon as I get this fire going, I am heading out. Washing machine is running. Sounds like the dishwasher is running. Um, yeah. Day is going well. It's beautiful out. Do you like my diffuser? I don't use that very often, but Ephraim likes putting the little cone thing upside down on it. I think I'm close. I better pay attention to this so I don't burn my... Okay, got the fire going, so hopefully it will stay happy like that. I can head outside. The hat might be a little overkill this morning because it's really nice out, but I did my hair kind of funky thinking, oh, I'm just going to have a hat on this morning anyway, and I'll redo it when I come back in. Let's see what these people are doing over here. I'm gonna let them play. We have responsible older kids. I'm gonna take a couple of loops in the woods. Hopefully they don't fall off that swing. They haven't yet. So, so that's good. We'll see how long we stay out here. Now the hardest part is once you get outside, unless it's super duper 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 cold, no one wants to go back inside, but it is so nice to get some fresh air first thing in the morning. They get to play. And then that way, we can come back in. We can get a good chunk of schoolwork done. Maybe we can hear the highway, sorry. It looks very cute and remote here, right? But we're actually right off a highway, so. We get a little bit of traffic noise. If I could choose, there are two things about this house that I would do different, but really only two. Other than that, I really love my house. The first one is that it would not be this close to a highway and it would be on more land. But I'm not gonna complain. And number two is that we'd have a master bathroom, which we do not have. I know, it seems crazy, no master bathroom. Um, so we actually use, our master bathroom is actually one of the bathrooms in the basement. Um, and the kids get the upstairs bathroom and then we basically leave the other bathroom as a guest bathroom. Um, it doesn't get a lot of use. It gets, I mean, it gets a little bit of use because why have a third bathroom if you're not going to let anybody use it? Um, but we try to keep that one just for guests when we have guests. So anyway, those are my, my only two things that I would change about my house. Oh, I might fall out here. Okay, so by my nose. <laughs> It's probably a little bit cooler than I thought it was going to be. But it's supposed to warm up a lot this afternoon. And then it's supposed to be like 50 degrees tomorrow. And then I don't know if snow is in the future. We're supposed to get rain. 
but if the rain is not still here when it gets cold, it's just gonna be rain, which makes us very crabby. Northerners get crabby when you have rain in the middle of December. Boo. And my college kids are off um, for I think another day of finals. Maybe not. I don't think it's actually technically finals week yet. Finals week doesn't really start until Thursday. It's like Thursday through Tuesday. It's a weird schedule. And then we are heading west for Christmas this year. Um, which we don't normally travel. True fact. Two times ago when we went home for Christmas. And it was like 36, 38 degrees. Beautiful morning. Sun was out. Um, sun was out but it was a little foggy and the fog was just like kind of sifting down. <laughs> Apparently it was freezing on the ground. We were driving and we uh, came to this the place where 35 meets I-90 and all of a sudden there's this truck that had rolled, like recently rolled, like the dude was still getting out of the truck. Um, and <laughs> we're like, oh. So wondering like, oh, how did that happen? Why did that guy just roll? And our van just like started sliding. It was an absolute sheet of ice. Scariest thing ever. So we happened to take the one exit, the first exit we could get on without killing ourselves. And it happened to be the one that had like one teeny tiny mom and pop gas station. And that was it. <laughs> so we had to sit there for about, I think it was like three hours. Might've been only an hour and a half. Felt like three hours um, with, we would have had seven kids at the time. Bella would have been a baby, I think. Maybe she wasn't even born. I think she maybe wasn't born. I think it was that long ago. Um, so it must have been like seven years ago. Anyway, crazy, crazy. And there were cars in the ditch everywhere. Praise the Lord. I think people just kind of slid off the highway. It wasn't like, I don't think there are any like injuries or anything. Um, but that was not fun. And then the last time we went, which was three years ago, we were at this almost the exact same spot um, on our trip, like intersection of I-90, I-35. We'd just gotten onto I-90 and <laughs> I was tired because we usually leave at like four in the morning. So I was gonna like lean my head back and close my eyes. Pretty soon I felt the car just slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the right really quickly. I said, what's going on? I sit up just in time to see this car flying at us, like going down the wrong way on the interstate. And then you see a cop going on the off ramp going the wrong way on the off ramp and then we have like five or six other police officers doing like dukes of hazard style across the median like we legit were in the middle of a high speed chase <laughs> what in the world we just like watch this whole thing go down <laughs> what, what is happening like we are seeing what, what's going on and then about i think five miles further west there was another scene where then we kept checking the news like what happened what was that all about and apparently some guy got pulled over, assaulted a police officer, and then took off going the wrong way down the interstate. They apparently had drugs. They were throwing them out the window the whole time. And they didn't get caught until like later that night after like helicopters were called in. It was insane. Anyway, needless to say, I don't like traveling in the winter anyway. Um, but certainly after those experiences, I'm like, maybe we should just stay home for Christmas. But All right, you about ready to go in? Yeah. Get some schoolwork done today. Oh, I have a child on the hill that looks like she's about to break her neck doing something. Let's see if that happens. Hopefully not. Whoa! <laughs> I did see that. That was awesome. Damn. That is also not bad for a six year old. <laughs> yeah. Should we go in and get our day started? Oh, hi, Haina. Are you trying to get inside again, buddy? You're trying to get inside again. Huh, kitties don't get to go inside, I'm sorry. Well, some kittens do. These kittens don't. We have too many mice to eat out here. Right, finished up our read aloud, right? And then I had three of my friends saying how hungry they were. We had granola and homemade yogurt for breakfast this morning. But some people didn't like my homemade yogurt. <laughs> Anyways, and they said, I'm hungry. So, hungry kids can't do school. Can they? <laughs> then what are you doing after you have your snack, Marcy? For the second time, cleaning Emma's room. We're cleaning up Emma's room for her again. She stayed up too late last night, didn't feel great this morning, and so she needs to come home from school and just go to bed today. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna clean up her stuff. <sighs> Goes against everything I believe in about kids doing things. The two oldest are doing school. Uh, Felicity, I think, already started cleaning up Emma's room. What are you doing? I'm a bad guy. You're a bad guy? Yeah. Why would this little girl doing school want to join you? Little girl, I think you should just keep doing school. What do you think? Yeah. I wouldn't join that bad guy. He looks like bad news. Is that a comfortable seat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there will be 10 o'clock. Well, That's not a 10. Is it time to eat or what? I'm gonna have a studious child finishing a literature test. Our book that I hope we're gonna finish up after dinner. So we're gonna eat. We're going to finish up the last battle. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after kids go to bed. I'm sure there are a thousand things that I need to do. It's just hard for me to start stuff whenever the little kids go to bed because the house is so quiet. I just wanna sit and kinda of read. So we'll see what I end up doing. Ephraim, can you snap or whistle? I can whistle. He can yeah. whistle. I forgot to do it. Oh, that's before. true. You yeah. can whistle. Yeah. And I can nap. Look. Whoa. Hey, I heard a sound. And I can't nap because my thumb is too. Your thumb Boy, is too what? <laughs> I just do this and then. But I see all the sound. When I do Let's that. See. Bella, what can you do? Snap or whistle? Snap. Marcy, snap or whistle? No. I kind of. I don't, you have a weird I, snap. I can't do it like you guys do. And I like can't. the normal way? <laughs> the real way? <laughs> All right, we know you can whistle. How about you? You cannot snap, is that true? Yes. But you can whistle. That's true. How about you, Gigi? I can do both. Really? Well, yes. I can't. <laughs> well, I can't. What can you do? Um, Me. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> I can snap and whistle, in case anyone was wondering. That's the actual worst. She could barely see the table top, but she didn't mind. College kids are bad. Now I just wait for everyone to get their pajamas on. We're finishing up the last battle. I think I will call it good for this video. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.